that's probably a bit too high, but easy fix. That should work. Looks good. Does it sound good? Looks good. Does it sound good? It does indeed. So, hello, hello, people of the internet. It is I, Zolrak Dragon, here back with more Fate Grand Order, where today we're just going to be doing some interludes because, you know, not really much else to do. I'm doing the summer event in my off time since I've already done that on stream once. Of course, before that, there is the various news articles. Um, so I will start from weird. There's a mer random Merlin pickup. Oh no, this isn't. This is the uh, summer two banner technically with Merlin and all that. I do need to set up my support setup for sur for summer as well. But um, servant coins is the first bit of news have been added to the game as a servant enhancement servant coins will be rewarded when you acquire a servant through summoning or a servant's bond level increases if you have a servant whose level has been raised to level 100 through palingenesis you can use the servant coins to raise their level cap even further to a maximum of level 120. you can also unlock app end skills which automatically go into effect during battle um they of course become more expensive past it so for five and four star servants you acquire before the new element, the amount of servant coins you get is based on the number of times you summon each servant is sent to the present box. Um, oh, burned servants will also be accounted. Okay, that's that's good. Bond levels can be increased before the new element was introduced. The amount of servant coins bond level will be sent, and USOs also. No time limit can claim the servant coins in your box. So. This is the amount of coins rewarded per from St. Courts and Friend Summonings. So a limited time 5 star servant gets 90 coins per summon, with a 4 star getting 50 and a 3 star getting 30. Story limited and permanent servants. Permanent servants are a little less than the 3 star cake cake rate. I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, friend point summon does have 4 star because I'm pretty sure Saber Lily is going to be the only four star that can be summoned from friend points and then you get bond for each so if you get them all the way to level 10 that is what 30 um, 7 8 and 9 so it should be what 60 for there and then an additional 20 beyond mash can only get to a certain number sadly servant coins will not be rewarded for limited servants from limited time events main interludes or quests from the f oh hang on a moment I'm streaming right now. What's up? Six ish is fine. Thank you. Yep, that's fine. Thank you. Love you. Sorry about that. Um, and then there's going to be more opportunities to earn servant coins for limited events. Servants in time. Uh, servants temporarily added with the 17 million ticket will officially be added to your roster. And then here is the various enhancements that can be done with the servant coins. If you raise the servant's level cap past level 100, it costs 30 QP, one grail, so grails are expensive, and a lot of QP, 30 servant coins. Unlocking an app end skill is 120 servant coins, meanwhile. Uh, it is every two levels, so you pretty much need, what, 10? You need 300 servant coins to fully max level a servant out. And that doesn't even count the app end skills. Uh, effectively going into effect automatically in battle. Uh, new skill material and essential materials are available. From what I understand, these are from the later Lost Belts. So they are only available in the shop right now for the summer event. Ball of Rainbow Thread, a ball of thread that shines like a captivating rainbow in sunlight. The flaming Oni lantern plant, a lantern plant bot that burns to the touch as it were enveloped in the very flames of hell. A small bell of absolution, the tears of sinners, a small bell that is left behind after separation. In the scale of fantasy, scales shed from fairy wings. They serve as a reagent for various magical powders. Um, they'll also be added as... They'll be available as enemy drops from enemies in the upcoming main chapter quests. Until then, they'll be available in various other things. And as well, there was also something. Hang on. What was that about the treasure... Okay, so they are likely going to be adding the five-star five, five star treasure vault as well as the um, more enhanced QP vault. Then it's just the Las Vegas event is currently going on. If you haven't done it last year is when I did it. 
And then 1800 day anniversary of FGO, which will give us 10 quarts. So that's all that news out of the way. That's, of course, going to load my daily stuff. And we can get some things started. First things first is clearing out this here box. So let's claim all these fever tickets to start, as well as all of these exchange for chains, login, login, maintenance, maintenance. I'll go through all of those there shortly. Login, 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 maintenance. There's a lot of servant coins. <laughs> a lot of servant coins. There we go. Finally towards the bottom. Uh, login. Interlude campaign. Login. Login. Maintenance. Maintenance. Interlude. Login. Maintenance. Interlude. Login. 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 And then shop. I'm going to just click all these. Uh, shop. 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 Because I do need to... Go back to boosting Jolter up here a bit. Okay, that should be good for now. I'll claim the servant coins here momentarily. First things first, let's boost Jolter up here. Was there anybody else getting enhanced? No. I have no beat. Oh right, I've I also forgot to do this with Arise last time. So let's uh let's make Arise NP5. That would have probably made some things a lot easier had I done it before. There we go. NP5 Aris. And then... Servant. And drop that filter. Jolter is here. And this will put Jolter at the official 2000-2000 club. Alrighty. So Jalter is there, and the next one that will be joining her is going to be XA, because you got to go for the main waifus and then their alternate forms. That's how you got to play it. Uh, so let's reapply that filter. I have to burn a bunch of bronze stuff as well. Might be, might technically be considered stalling a little bit, but not really. Checking this as well. Make sure I'm not. Missing anything? Nope. Oh, uh, sell. Sell the miscellaneous bronze and silver. There we go. All golds are worth keeping. I'll store those five star golds as well. Because those are definitely worth storage. And there we go. I did also, the reason my craft essence thing is so full, is because I had to claim literally all of my freaking Valentine's chocolates. Yeah. So I, I'm actually going to take care of that here too. I like doing this kind of stuff on stream just because, you know, it is showing that I'm not doing stuff without you guys knowing. I guess, technically. That's always been the case, but you know what I mean. Um, so, how do I want to... What was I going to level up next? Aerial Drive, it looks like. Alright. I also have a bunch of CE experience I need to use, so... All but one, just in case I don't already have it. Thankfully, I've got plenty of QP to spare right now. Any other CE experience? No, all the chocolates are locked. Gosh darn it. I'm going to have to go through each and every chocolate to unlock them. That sounds tedious. I'm not going to be claiming any other craft so I'll do that later. <laughs> now, 
I think it's finally the time where I can start claiming my various servants. So, this top one is all based on the summon counts because there was a bug going on initially. Whereas the next set should be based upon... Yeah, so Voyager down is where it starts going off of the most recent summons and bond level because there was a bug with servant coins where you wouldn't get coins after a certain point in time. So we will claim our 295 for Voyager. And I'm just going to go up because this should be ordered by class. Yep, it is ordered by class indeed. So Voyager has 295. You know, I'm just going to receive... I can't receive all because if I receive all, then I'm going to overload myself with a bunch of CEs and such. 180 for Melt. I really need to summon for her more. It does show me which other servants I've got. NP3. I apparently have Oi, Summer BB, John. <coughs> Excuse me. Jack's only NP2. Sun Zong's NP2. Tamamo's NP2. Gil is NP2. And then it's just um, the four stars and such get their normal stuff as well as the bottom level. Melt is, of course, the most bonded servant at, lo at getting 100 bond coins there. I need to see how far I can push Mash with those app end skill things. Because I do want to utilize... I want to probably unlock a couple of those here. Just to see what they are all about, you know. <laughs> Mainly for the most used of the bunch. A.K.A. the top servants I've got. If it's not too expensive. I'm not going to be leveling anybody up because I do know that's thousands upon thousands of uh, experience which I don't really have nor do I have the grails to spare to be fair especially considering I do need to look into grailing more servants I think I might have enough grails to push somebody up to the limit here I'd have to check we're in the riders. Gotta love how it goes by class here. Lambda has a good amount of coins as well. Not really an order of class because the riders came before the lancers and I'm pretty sure we're gonna get another random one next. Maybe. Archers. Again, there's very little sense in their ordering. Unless it goes reverse order, which might actually be the case now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, that actually makes sense for it to be a reverse ordering. Yeah, because now we're at sabers, and the sabers should be the last bunch, I imagine. Umu, good lord. I forgot that one time I got a ton of Umu, so no surprise that she's high up there. And the rest of my box is just foes and the like. Okay, so let's take a look at, first off, how many grails do I actually possess? And as well as look at the waifu. So Arash, Melt, XA, I can't boost... Mash, so it would be Jolter that would be next. I actually have enough Grails to start uh, leveling Jolter up. I will have to for sure keep that in mind. Where was Append? Alright. So, okay, I can actually see how much I have of each, technically. 
Let's start by going, sadly, towards the bottom here. I guess not the very bottom. It does sort by how many. I can't unlock any of Mash's app end skills. That sucks. And there's nothing much I can really do about it because she's at her max amount of servant coins. Well, that sucks hard. Um, I guess we'll go for the more highly used ones. So, Melt. This is going to cost a majority of her app end skills. Extra attack boost, anti-lancer attack up. Okay. So if I went anti-lancer attack up, that would give her some more um, versatility with who I can use her against. By 20%. What is the Alter Ego's damage debuff? They take half damage, so it wouldn't... R hmm. It'd be a difference, but not enough of one to really make me... Maybe I should just save for Grails. I don't know. I gotta think on it. I actually have to think on this. Uh, show me XA, though, real quick. Anti-Assassin crit resistance up, so it's all different. I know the extra attack boost just boosts the amount of damage the extra attack does while load magical energy is starting NP. Um, Arash, Anti-Assassin, Gale for Giggles, Anti-Rider, King Hassan, Anti-Saber. That'd be funny. Okay. I've definitely got to do some thinking as to... What is Shelter? Anti-Avenger. Ironic. I definitely got to do some thinking before I start boosting anybody app and skill wise. Uh, this skill wise, though, I'm only at 29 bones. Is that enough to finish Eris off, though? Lancer, there she is. That is actually enough to get her at least a 555. Hopefully, she doesn't require bones for 5 to 6, and of course, she does. I'm in bone hell. I am in the bonest of hell. Why evil bones? Why? <sighs> okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's all I can realistically enough do at the moment. So... What was on the summon banner? Out of curiosity, I don't remember, honestly. Carmilla and Summer Musashi... Okay, yeah, nothing I'm really interested in rolling for at this point in time. So, we go to the Caldea Gate. I completely forgot I still had free quests to do in Olympus. <laughs> Whoops. And, do I want to do rank ups or interludes? Hmm. Rank up or interlude? I could probably get more interludes done than rank up quests, to be honest. So yeah, let's do some interludes here. I'm only going to go until I'm out of energy, so let's think of how we want to order this. He's actually, I use I use um, Shang Yu fair, a fair bit, so I'm pretty sure that's an NP strengthening. So he'll be worth doing. Then we'll also probably do Tamamo, and we'll go from beyond there. It's time for our customary party. Did you all bring a yummy treat? Of course, I've got a great assortment of cookies I made to practice for Christmas. We've got leftover chocolate from when we practiced making it for Valentine's. I brought a pound cake I made just for this occasion. I made several of them to get it just right, so I'm very proud of how it turned out. I made sure to bring some for you too, Senpai, so you're more than welcome to have some if you'd like. Thanks, Mash. Tea party, huh? I don't like the smell of Western tea, but I do like the sweets you have with it. <laughs> I've been waiting for this tea party all week. I can't stop smiling about it. No, Rocky Doji, the rule is that we're all supposed to bring out our bring our own treats. That's right. I know we made an exception for you last week when you showed up as an unexpected guest. But you promised you would bring your own treat this next time you wanted to come, remember? Keep your undies on, you little brats. I remember just fine. Now, as a rule, we only never make anything on, on our own, but check this baby out. I stole it all by myself. 
Oh, chocolate cake, and it's really beautifully cut. Looks like something you'd see in a bakery. I'm glad you remember the rule this time, Ibaraki, but are you sure it's okay for us to have this? I mean, what if it was meant to be a present for somebody else? We'll have to seek forgiveness instead of permission, I guess. I don't see what we can do now that it's already been cut. But aside, remember what Mr. Caesar said always says, Render unto Caesar the calories that are Caesar's. Exactly, and he's the one who came up with the Brutus saying. Now come on, everyone, line up your cups here. Please, before the tea gets cold. It smells so good. I can't wait. Random. <laughs> hmm? hmm? What's going on? He just knocked the whole cake on the floor. How could you do that, you big meanie? I hate this spiky horse. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. Let's just remember him. Hoof to Maine. Oh no, this is terrible. What do we do now, senpai? Uh, <laughs> stop Zhang Yu. He ruined the cake, man. You don't ruin a chocolate, a perfectly good chocolate cake, Zhang Yu. I'm sorry, man. You don't, you do not ruin a perfectly good chocolate cake. Okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and bring random Scotty, but let's get into the theme of this. So it was Jack. Jack B. Assassin. So Jack, Santa Lily, Nursery Rhyme. Where, where is Nursery Rhyme? There she is. Ibaraki. Ibaraki's Berserker. She can go towards the very back line because she's not going to be that much use. And then, sadly, towards the very bottom, Mash. Because... Letting her bond up. <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and throw some good CEs. Okay, scope for Jack, because she's likely gonna do some heavy damage. Shanta as well. You know what? Just, just full K-scope. Why not? Full K-scopes all around us. Full K-scopes everywhere. And let's a go. A thematic team. For this is who was at the tea party, which we apparently host. I do wonder why this is an interlude for him. I'm guessing something post-fight dialogue-esque. Maybe he, the chocolate cake was made by him for Consort you Or you Senpai. Oh, he's got a big health bar. It's a good thing I have triple NP here. Um, defense, sure. Crit star drop rate, throw that upon the Jack of Ripper. Quick effective for her NP. And self modification for nurseries. All right, an interesting setup, but just the way I wanted to do it. B A Q. I don't think I've seen nurseries NP before, or I have, but it's. Just been a while. <laughs> Defense decrease is nice. Not doing a lot of damage here, though. Jack, please make it different. There's the damage. Also, Jack got an NP update since the last time I've used her, clearly. Uh, did it? Oh, poor Janta. Even more heals. Janta smash.
Ooh, it's gonna be close. Hey, there we did it. Tea Party Gang has beaten a monstrously powerful Berserker. Go, Tea Party Gang, go. Well, it looks like everyone's calmed down now. They look more worn out than calmed down. He just left without saying anything again. How could he? How could he do this to us? We just wanted to have a tea party. How dare that horseman ruin my feast. I can understand if he wanted to steal that cake, then I could just steal it back. But, but all he did was stop all over. Not even Oni would do something so horrible. I hate that spiky horsey. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. I wonder what that was all about. Context? Zhang Yu, huh? Didn't even come another mess for no discernible reason. Yes, this time he crashed Nursery Rhyme's team party. It was in the very literal sense of the word. Hey, at least he did not destroy any part of the facility this time. The other day, he left a gigantic gaping hole in the rec room wall. I swear, I don't know what I'm going to do. This is already the third time he's caused this kind of commotion. I believe he started that fire in the warehouse as well, if I'm not mistaken. Surely I'm also at my wit's end. And in, in my case, he continu continuously destroys the clues I've gathered on my current case. I knew that Zhang Yu, the hegemon king of Western Chu, was one of China's most notorious tyrants. But berserker or not, that doesn't mean we ha can have him going around stirring up trouble like this. So is his master the responsibility for keeping him in line falls solely for t with you. So tell me, how do you plan to fulfill it? However you go about it, make sure it doesn't con inconvenience me. True, it can be difficult to, d to reason with berserkers at times. But generally, once you're familiar with their um, quirks, it isn't too hard to get a hang of it. But in Zhang Yu's case, well, it's impossible to predict what can cause him to act like this. Yeah, he's a powerful fighter, and he's usually much more on the intellectual, warrior side of things. But he's like a double-edged sword if left uncontrolled. As a servant, we need to be more careful about how we handle him. So your sense of normal with these sorts of things may be rather skewed by now. But in other circumstances, the ability to summon this many friendly servants would be miraculous. And if worse comes to worst, we may need to consider sealing a spirit origin. Of course, that choice would ultimately be yours to make, but... I need some time. Very well, but remember, you summon the servants, so you need to figure out a viable solution. I know. Gordy, I know. You gonna know how to control Lord Zhang Yu, huh? That's right, and we thought if anyone might know, it would be a way... A way it would be, be you, a... <clears throat> you, Mei Ren? Hm, you people have some nerve. The very idea of humans controlling a man so great and heroic is laughable. If we don't end up doing something, he might seal the way. I see. Ah, oh, you humans never change, do you? I'm sure we could figure something out if we only knew why he was acting this way. Please help us, senpai. Oh, why do you have to be so ir irritatingly good at those impudent strategies? Fine then, I'll make an exception for you just this once. I like how she's just chilling in Caldea. True ancestor fortune telling divination's lost item, general knowledge. Um, what's this sign for? A fortune telling street sign, naturally. Haven't you ever seen booths such as this on the street before? Yeah, never mind. Not gonna say it. Are you sure you want to be so open about being a, well, true ancestor? Oh, sure. It's the first one. It's first one to. It's the. It's first one to open takes all with these kinds of things. And the brand recognition for true ancestors is off the charts. Oh, well, I guess I thought you would be more concerned about your reputation. Nope. As long as I'm not actually being harmed, I could care less about that intangible stuff. And it's not like I have to worry about an Omiyoju or Exodus busting down. Novum Caldea's doors kill me, right? I suppose that's true. Anyway, I'm very impressed that you know how to tell fortunes you may run. Hmm? Are you kidding me? There's no way I'd ever bother with that kind of hassle. Huh? Weren't you listening to me? I told you, it's just a sign. This way, we don't have to go looking for anyone with the information we need. All we have to do is wait for them to come to us. <laughs> Excuse me, is it true you can help me find something I lost? Of course, be it friend or foe. Object or abstract, or even a fragment of happiness itself. My sounding true ancestor powers can help me find anything just like that. <laughs> Never. I'm not going to say it. See, someone stole something from the kitchen last night. Usually I'd write it off as a pointless prank. But given what was stolen this time, the sooner it gets resolved, the better. Well, what was it? Did they take a whole carton of golden fruit or something? Not the golden fruit! <laughs> I know how you must feel, Master, but please try to stay calm. Yeah, I happen to overhear you guys talking while I was peeling carrots. I'll take it from here. This next part involves some very delicate feminine matters, after all. See, the thief that snuck into the kitchen took something of one of Tamamo Cat's 
home bakery student's classmate. Something one of your students made. Yes, I saw the serenity of all people. Oh, that's, um... I was against it, personally. I didn't think it was safe to let her use the commu communal kitchen, for obvious reasons. You see, these red guys are all too cold-hearted to get it. Well, that spacey one I've been hearing rumors about lately also wears red, but that aside, making sweets is an essential tool to any romantic holy grail war. With the Battle of Royale that takes place every February, you can't blame her for wanting to up her game. Certainly just as much right to polish her skills as anyone, even if she is up to her ears in poison. In fact, if you ask me, poison is just another kind of spice. Used well, it might be just the key to turning that special someone's head your way. Woof. That's right, I couldn't agree more, Cat. I fully support Serenity in all our romantic endeavors. Yeah, I figured that's how it would play out, which is why I'd kept an extra close Y on out safety wise, including disinfecting every implement she touched to ensure she couldn't poison anything other than the ingredients. And I've had a lot of good that closed eye of yours did, considering the mess we're in now. You might as well have been watching through one of those fish cake chihuahuas they have in your country for all the good it did you. You must be thinking of Chikua, um, but that's not the point. I'm sorry, it was my responsibility to watch the kitchen, and I failed. Sarni was supposed to let her toxic chocolate cake sit overnight after baking to give it time to settle, but when we came to check on it in the morning, it was gone before she could t so much as taste it. Did you say a chocolate cake? Okay, it's a good thing that cake got smashed then. If we had just sneak in a slice on the spot, we could have found them sprawled out on the floor. If they were human, they dropped out on the first bite, if I was a greedy servant with a sweet tooth. Their spirit origin would have either been weakened or disappeared outright, so I went to the command room asking for information, but they didn't see anything like that. So the most likely explanation is that nobody has had any of Serenity's stolen cake yet. So it's going to keep me up all night if I don't know what happened to it, and for as gorgeous as mine, needs plenty of nap time to get its luster. That's why we thought we'd try this mystical tree and sister power of yours, hmm? What is it, Master? Why do you look like you're about to heal Eureka any moment? You don't need to worry about that deadly cake. According to my readings, it was lost forever before it ever had a chance to harm anyone. I didn't even see you do any fortune telling. That's true, Ancestor Mystic Power for you. I'm just sorry I couldn't help you track down the cake's whereabouts. So to make up for that, I'll let you have this one on the house. <laughs> oh, okay, so... Zhang Yu must have done that to save us, I guess. Some stupid knuckle-dragging hater has got to be behind this, I just know it. How else do you explain there being a giant acoustic ruining hole in every room where I plan to hold an impromptu concert? I've been scoping out the concert sites all by myself in secret to make sure extra sure no one can leak them ahead of time, but somehow this damn hater still always manages to beat me to the bunch. Some paparazzi has got to be spying me in secret. You've got to do something, puppy. Okay. I think I'm seeing here. Lately, I've been hiding my treasure where nobody can ever find it because I don't want to make trouble for anyone. I'm conscientious like that, you know? But then one day, out of nowhere, somebody attacked my top secret hiding spot and burned it down to the ground. Whoever it was must have been jealous of my stash and decided if they couldn't have it, nobody could. I don't know who did it, but when I find out and track them down, I'm going to keel haul them for my master. My name is Blackbeard the Pirate. Hmm? What was this treasure exactly? Uh, I might be your servant master, but a guy is still entitled to his privacy. Like, say, good, let's, like they say, good fences make good neighbors, right? That's right, the day out was finally going to be the day where I seized the evidence from all that wicked Blackbeard. I mean, Mr. Teach used to brave crimes and see that he was properly punished once and for all. I even asked Medea and Cersei to use their clairvoyance, so I could pinpoint the exact location where he was hiding all his sword filth. But when I got there, I found out that someone had already burned the entire stash to the ground. It was obviously a cover-up, so that must mean Blackbeard is some co-conspirator. If we don't do something, chaos is sure to befall all of Caldea, or at least its sense of public decency. After seeing how Raiko's very presence here contradicts any claims she may help make to uphold public faces to yourself, then as a saint, the task clearly falls to me. Oh, Raiko got burned. Foo! You're one to talk. Foo! Okay, so Zhang Yu is doing all this for the sanctity of Caldea, I guess. Right, the times and locations of all these issues line up perfectly with Zhang Yu's mysterious and destructive behavior. There's no telling how much of a tragedy and bloodshed he may have prevented. So you get it now? Does that mean I can finally close up a shop? Like you said, once you lay all these stories out in one place, things seem incomprehensible at first start to paint a clear picture. I just wish he told us about these things ahead of time, and we could have helped him. Don't hold your breath on him ever doing that. Remember, he doesn't perceive future events rationally or logically. As far as he's concerned, foresight and conviction are sign synonymous. What's more, the application he feels to nip these problems in the bud before they become a disaster is practically a reflex. Yeah, how can we get along with him better? Well, you could always try becoming immortal. 
Mm, that's just kind of joke you I expect you to make, you may run. It's no joke. The whole reason your finite beings are trapped in your conception of the present is your present is because of how you view death. You in particular should know what I mean, Mash. Remember how wonderfully vivid everything seemed back when you could feel the days counting down to oblivion in almost an in almost in an instant? So what does the present feel like to you then, you may run? Man, that's a really hard question to answer. Is it? I'm not sure I could even explain this in a way you could understand. For example, take this moment right now. Why am I here talking to you like this? Is this the present, or do you two actually die long ago and I'm just reminiscing about you? And how can you tell? Hmm? The reason you two can keenly tell the difference is because you can feel your lives ticking away with each second. But for me, there's no real difference. The only thing I can tell for sure is that eventually, we two will die and I'll be left behind again. Okay. Hmm. Getting uh, quite deep there, you. Quite deep there on the whole concept of mortality and immortality, but... I get it, and intellectually I get it, and I can... I guess I could somewhat... No, I guess you would have to be immoral to sympathize with that from a normal standpoint. So I get it intellectually. Yeah, I do get it intellectually. This is just what life feels like when death is no longer means anything. The past and the future become indistinguishable from one another. The endless mass of time compresses your memories, and you have no apprehension towards or interest in the unknown. Things that happened before and those that will happen someday are both equally vague. And you can't bring yourself to care about which is which. That's why I don't even bat an eye when Lord Zhang Yu sees the future and does something seemingly inexplicable. Just like that's how it might have been before, that's how, that's also how it might be again someday. So as long as you keep finding meaning in your finite lives, you'll never be able to understand Lord Zhang Yu. But if he does something you really can't make heads or tails of, just come to ask me about it. I'm still better than he is at taking your human doubts into consideration. Okay. Interesting philosophy there. I see. I'm sorry you had to go through all that trouble on my behalf, my you. Not our lord, Lord Jung-Yu. It barely even served to pass the time. So I have to ask, are you sure about this? Surely you could have foreseen that your actions were only going to make Keldeans fear you. I did, but I also foresaw that no harm would come of it, even if I could not foresee how. I see, so it was thanks to your intervention that my actions became clear and I was able to avoid a disastrous fate. I'm in your debt once again. Not at all, Lord Zhang Yu. Anyone else would have done the same for their beloved. Hmm. Hmm? Why are you sighing with such dejection, my Yu? If I had only been able to clear up misunderstandings between you and your subjects back when you were the hegemon king of Western Chu, maybe you would have met a different fate. Impossible. Back then, you feared humans just as they feared you, so you would have never been able to negotiate with them. That's true, isn't it? You're right. I just don't know what I was thinking. What you did today is only possible because of your new circumstances, my you. It is due to your choice to become a heroic spirit, come to Chaldea, and take souls as your master, that you are now able to act as an intermediary between humans and myself. Lord Zhang Yu. I could not function as well as I do, for I did not have you to help me, my you. I'm glad you're here for my to fight for humanity's future by my side, as am I. I really cannot wait to get her this summer. I also kind of want to get her base form, too, because that was really sweet. That was really, really sweet. Makes me like them a bit more. Uh, Foresight A is upgraded to Foresight A++, which is an increase in crit strength, as well as an increase in crit star gather rate. Okay, that's pretty decent for a boost. I'll gladly take that. Next up, we will go ahead and take care of Tamamamamo. E-Pal Wars. This one is definitely an NP strength thing. I got the two symbols mixed up. Um, We will restart the party. Alright, so... Tama is, of course, going to be taking the front and center here, since this is her interlude and we're not fighting her. At least I don't think we are. She will be a little bit lower down. There she is. And we'll go ahead and... Th no, I did not press that. We'll go ahead and throw Sumo upon her. And then... We'll want some form of support to do some damage, just in case. So we'll go Melt. And Waver. 
Weaver can get one of the Bond CEs. We'll bring Asclepius, since he's the only servant that is not Bond 5 yet. He can get nothing, because Mesh will also come along, and she will get a Bond CE. There we go. Alright, this should be fine. Yeah, this should be fine. Let's go. Ooh, elbow popped. Master, where are you? Your caster's looking for you. That's Tomomo, isn't it? What's gotten into her? Oh, Master, there you are. I've been looking for you. Let's get going, then. Come on. Come on. This way. Come on. Where are we going? We're going, of course, to our honeymoon. Oh, boy. Oh, so that's all it was. What? Mm, blue skies, sandy beaches, and a clear blue sea as far as the eye can see. And it's the perfect day for a honeymoon, isn't it, Master? That said... Hmm. <laughs> well, one or two tagalongs shouldn't bother us too much. Oh, how about something to drink, darling? Romani! Romani! I really don't want to know, but how did this happen? I mean, I really, really don't want to know. Actually, just forget it. Too bad, here's how it happened. Listen up, yesterday I got a message from Kyo Hime, my texting buddy. I just went on a date with my master, who is also my lover. A lover's tryst, you could say, a lover's tryst. So, how are things with your master, Tomomo? Oh, gotcha. Anyway, I'll text you again sometime. Can you believe she sent that? What the hell was she... What the hell was gotcha? What's she saying she got? Kids these days, even Osaka Hime, who never leaves her room, is going on chat dates. At this point, I have no choice but to act. So I'm sending selfies of me and my master being lovey-dovey just to show the two of them who's boss. So it doesn't have to be with Senpai, does it? That's right, she just wants to brag that she's getting along well with her master. <clears throat> You're toying with me. Oh, no, no, not at all. It's true that I've sworn my soul to another. Even though I don't quite remember what that person was like, or even which dimension did I encounter them in. But that's different. I respect soul for making a contract with the Anant and Tahir like me, and with no complaints. I've seduced countless men and committed countless sins, but I feel like this one's... This one's the one I'll serve with my whole spirit. That is my true nature, as Tamamono Mai the caster. Okay, so maybe honeymoon was going too far, but maybe you can at least call it a vacation. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so... This is very clear... This is obviously an early interlude, given the fact that Romani is here. But it does also do a lot of foreshadowing. For example, it does mention Osaka Beheme. Way before she gets released. Well, I actually don't know when this interlude came out, but this is... Osaka Beheme's first introduction. And then there's also, she's sworn her soul to another, doesn't remember where or when. So that is referencing the Hakanos, which is why Tomomo, Nero, and Altera, and technically, well, no, it's a different BB, but those three at the very least are off limits for the waifuisms. Sorry to interrupt, but we have enemies. Looks like it's just the Lamia spawning ground. It looks like you're surrounded. What, your decision is more important? Sorry. Why now of all times? Jeez, this is just great. No, I feel awkward like when you run into an old friend and you find out she's married and has children now. I'm going to take it out on these, what are they, Lamias? Yeah, I know how you feel. That's the master. That's my master. I'm even more in love with you now. Now that we're both on the same page, excuse me while I'll give a little speech. I'll come to your aid when you ask for it or not. The reliable shrine maiden fox, Kesko Chan, now descends upon the tropical seas. Drink. Thirsty. Delicious H2O. But this doesn't seem like it's going to be too hard. Uh, do do do. 
Buster Blast. Only got through one. Sadness. Tears. I cry every time. Uh, boom. Ba -ba -bum. And Melt Blast. We'll use Tomo's MP2 though. This is fine. And then do do do. First time actually seeing her MP. From my servant perspective. It is a very, very cinematic looking MP. I do know it also got an MP update at some point as well, so. But it's a very cool MP. Easy peasy. And this is fine still. We have Melt. Oh, it sure is nice relax in a mountain inn, isn't it, Master? Sure is. What's going on here? Don't ask me. No idea. Fool. We're we're playing. We're joking around. Semester. Oh, who's that at a time like this? Oh, a message from Q Hime. What does it say? Today I went shopping with my master, who's also my husband. We went on a famous French clothing store. Oh, what's that name? Anyway, there's my master brought me some Western style clothes. I get so put on the spot by things like this. So Tomo, do you? Oh, gotcha. Anyway, I'll text you again sometime. From France with love, your Kiyohime. So this is a different Kiyohime than the one we summoned then, clearly. This so again, I'm asking you, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? This gotcha. In the first place, I'm sure your partner is being tricked. Not Kiyohime. Yes, it's not polite to say, but unlike me, Kiyohime can get the weirdest ideas in her head. Tendencies for love at first sight aside, she often creates relations with her mind without taking... Talking to the men involved. Her imagination when it comes to these kinds of things can put virtual reality to shame. Every relationship she imagines is already has marriage on the horizon. Ultimately, she traps the guy inside a bell and burns him to death. That's how he, she is, so I worry about her partner. Oh, I should have brought us lunch or something. Foo! Hate her nap, but I'm picking up something. Yeah, it looks like we're in wyvern territory. Again, jeez, I just want to make some memories with my master. Why do they keep interrupting? This isn't fair. My texting buddy does this every single day. Her text always sounds so happy, I can't take it anymore. Me neither. My friends, flying lizards, I don't know what you are, but how I feel about all those Sundays. The feeling that I should do something meaningful, and, but ends up on the couch getting nothing done. Then after a bath, realizing I'm already getting into bed, that dismal feeling. I'll take them all out on you. I'm actually feeling the same way. Oh, Senpai, I was just joking. I'll, I'll do my best. Wow. Hitting you where it hurts. Hitting a lot of people where it hurts. Uh, be a Q. Easy peasy. 
they didn't stand a ghost of a chance. Uh, BAQ. That was a sound, Tamamo. That was a voice line. Ooh. Wrist popped. Uh, this is a little bit of an annoying enemy setup, but I can deal with it. Melt will definitely wipe two of them, and then there'll just be one extra for later. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy interludes, but they are early game ones, so that's not terribly surprising. Well, I'm glad you two had fun yesterday. What exactly was all that anyway? Foo! Oh, Master Trouble, Big Trouble. Other text? Now, what is it? Does Sakabe Hime ask you to go on a double date or something? No, she's, uh, you know, in the middle of a very cute internet romance. And the problem is the active one, Kyohime. It seems she, um, got dumped. Uh-oh. Yes, apparently she got mad and she started setting everything on fire. I wanted to ignore her, but, you know, she's a dear friend. We both promised to enroll in that cooking class held by Benny Emma from the Severed Tongues Barrel, you know. Hey, Benny Emma name drop early as well. So to my deep compassion and love, I think Master and I need to stop her. It's a friend's job to support, be supportive at times like this, right? Though I've never met her in person. So come on, come on, come, come with the deep bonds between us. We shall heal poor Kiyohime's wounded heart. No to your motives, of course. Oh, the shield girl's welcome too, I suppose. I'll pass some pie. Please try to avoid being burned to death, okay? Easier said than done, I feel, Mash. Easier said than done. So NP rank up to have a better a better HP increase. And Tamamo's profile gets updated with to prevent her past sins, she cut off the tails and fell into the status of a one tail fox. If she goes through another millennium of training, she might be able to become a nine tail fox again. By the way, each of the tails she cut off has the exact same spiritual power and spiritual core as her. And if she goes through an ascension, rest assured, the most she'll ever become is a three tail. Indeed. And we got another interlude for Tamamo Unlocked. I'll see how much NP that... Or NP... You know what I mean. It's another... That's a skill one. I kind of wanted to do Enkidus, but... You know, I'm on the Tamamo train right now, so... Yeah, why not? Why not? It's another 36. It'll make the thumbnail for this stream easier to do, at least. Nine-tailed fox. The enemy type is a demon. Be careful, the readings are off the chart. Foo foo! Roger, let's go, Master. You be careful too, Tamomo. Right, right. Sure thing, Shieldy. Shieldy? Oh, 
trying to pop my neck. Oh, wow, this is going to be an easy one. That's the good thing about these lo these earlier interludes. They are just so easy to do. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Of course, this one is sort of disproving me by being very hard to take down with just my team, but I've just been having a poor um, card draw, you know? My card draw has been very poor here. No brave chains. There we go. Easy peasy breezy. And it's another. Demon. I'm hoping this will upgrade her uh, fox's wedding skill here, because I do know that is one of them that gets the upgrade. Du -du 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 -du. Oh, I nearly threw my phone onto the ground. And of course, Melt will melt away the foe. Because she is a beast! Two hearts. I really wish we could get some evil bones! Whew, that was tough. Hmm. Is something wrong, Tomomo? Oh, no, it's nothing. Come on, let's finish off the last of them. Uh-oh. And then... Same setup. Let's -a go. Fo! Oh, that's Tamamo. What's she doing in a place like this? Huh. <sighs> Why the sigh? Master, I'm sorry. You caught me at an embarrassing moment. Actually, no. I'm sure you've already noticed. It's about my body. Your body? What does she mean, senpai? Whew, deep breaths. I'm sure even she always knows, but lately I've been slowing you down. What did you do, senpai? Wait, slowing us down? You tell me, And do you see, for some reason, I can't fully use my powers. It doesn't feel like you're holding back. No, I can feel that I am. It's my body, after all. A long time ago, you see, I had nine fluffy tails and would go around, causing havoc everywhere, the follies of youth, you understand. I'll spare you the details, but eventually I became deeply, deeply repentant. I sealed away eight of my evil tails and became a weak one-tailed fox. The famous story of the nine-tailed fox. I have never heard that she lost her tails, though. I'd like to be stronger so that I can be of use to you, master, but... Is there a problem? Yes, when I get stronger, I get more tails, but you see... When I get more tails, I become a very different sort of creature than I am now. Yes, i am kind of become a great demon strong enough to destroy the multiverse. You get that strong. Yes, understand that this is an exaggeration. I become a great demon. That is an avatar of the apocalypse itself. I see. The thought of you seeing me like that makes me scared to grow more tails. But if I can't be useful to you, I'm just a fluffy fox shrine maiden. And the cause of this holy grail war is a threat not big enough to, not to rival my nine-tailed self. I'm not sure what to do. A battle with your past, huh? Sorry, guys, I have to. I hate to interrupt, but there's another monster, a big one. It's bigger than that demon enemy. Foo! So if I leave this to me and get Tamamo. If I could get back at least one more tail, that monster would be nothing. Oh, I hate myself for having so much hidden power. Even with more tails, though, you are still Tamamo. I know, I know. You're just about to get sick of my... Con, Master, what did you say? You will always be Tamamo. What's so, Master? 
even if I get my nine tails back, and even if I think, wow, this is ridiculous, he'll still treat me like he would before. Yeah, treat all the servants like I do before until they, you know, gain onto the waifu categories, which you won't, but still. I can't believe it. I came to this world by pure chance to, to make the master I've conjured out of some sense of fate. I possess such a handsome soul. Oh, but it's not as good as the man I just, I'm destined to be with. Okay, now I'm really fired up. I'm even more serious about this, yeah. But even if something terrible happens, you can quell my negative energy, scold me, and exercise me. Um, so what exactly are you doing? Shilly, I'm sorry for worrying you. From this moment, I'm reborn. Reborn, Tamomo no Mai. That's right, I'm the new Tamom Tamomochi at your servants. Come, 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 master. Come watch your little cute little Casco Chan's big moment on stage. Come now, these, those afar hear my sound, those nearby be charmed. I'm the guardian of the mausoleum of the Yellow Emperor, the bearer of luck from Kunlun's. A mirror of water reflecting the golden sun's rays. Behold the eightfold blessing. That's a mouthful, Tamamo. That is a mouthful. Greater demon. Oh. I'll, I'll use the fox's wedding just so that Tamamo thinks she's doing something, but yeah, this is a. Uh, this is a melt turn to shine. For certain, this is a melt time to shine. Brave Jane on all that. Ah, no crits. Sadness. Tears. I cry every time. If only I could have crit, it would have been done. But it is now. And that is 70 interludes done. Woo! Pretty sure we get some quartz for that. Yay! Hmm, Tamamo wins. I feel so good, so good. Did you power up? Oh, my tails? That's right, to get another tail pack. I need another 500 billion experience points or so, so I'll just have one for now. And then all that stuff about you growing your tails back. Oh, I'm just a worry wart, you know? I'm the type who worries about the future. But I'm okay now. With my master's trust, I'm invincible. Honestly, I didn't see anything different between that last battle and the one before it. That's right. What was that all about? All that stuff about she was talking about? They do say the mind rules the body, right? Oh! This fleeting world is but a moment's dream. Just as the lives of men are but nothing but morning dew. But my contract with you is firmer than Sishohoske. I don't know what that word is. I'm not even going to try and repronounce that. I'll serve you with all my soul, master. Oh, that's nice. Is sweet. So it is indeed Fox's wedding that ups and now does a HP restore. I thought it did more arts recovery. Alright, that is all the Tamamo interludes, it looks like. I believe she does have a rank up quest here, but that is 69. I would not have enough to be able to fully do it, so I don't want to even try to start. So, back to the interludes here. What do we got? What do we have? Um, we could probably afford to do Enkidu, at the very least. Yeah. Let's do Enkidu first. So, made by God, woven by humans, and returned to the soil. Two. Combat. Poor Fran and Mo, why are they fighting? Ah! <clears throat> Hope they're not fighting because they're enemies or anything. Whoops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to hit you that hard. You okay? Uh, uh. 
Good, I think that's enough for today. Thanks for helping me work off dinner. This ought to be enough for that test drive DaVinci was talking about. Hmm? Hmm? What's up? Hmm? Alright, I feel it too. Someone else just showed up. That's weird. Pretty sure DaVinci said we were the last ones. Hmm. Anyone who showed up here today of all days has got to be either a serious weirdo or somebody who fell out of shape like me. Oh, I hope it's not Gwing being all big brothery. That's just the last thing I need right now. There they are. Looks like that's... Hello. Thank you, do. I take it you're all s that you're Sir Mordred. Oh, it's you. I think I've seen you around the cafeteria sometimes. Let's see, what's your name again? I'm Enkidu, a lancer, and I'm also one of soul servants, just like you are. I don't think you and I have ever had a chance to spoke, though I have spoken to Fran once or twice. Ugh. That's so? Alright, so what do you want with me? I've heard stories about your life, and I was hoping I could ask you something that I think could improve my systems. Systems? That's a new one. But alright, I was just planning on taking a break anyway, so I don't mind hearing you out. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. I was just hoping you could tell me about your salvation. Say what? Hey, Fran? Hmm. Get out of here. Right now. Hmm? Mm? I've got to make this guy disappear. Oh. Hey. Hey. Do you remember me? Do you still remember when we first met? Do you still remember the nights we spent together? Do you still remember what we just said? I wonder if we will ever see each other again. Maybe tomorrow. Or the day after. Or maybe weeks, months, years from now. Will I still be the same person you know? Bit of a serious interlude, this one. Who are you? Hmm? Senpai, Senpai! Are you alright? You look like you were having a terrible nightmare. Where was I sleeping? Yes, your head was swaying quite a bit. At any rate, I'm glad to see your consciousness is stable. That said, you seem like you were having an especially bad nightmare in this particular REM REM state. Her woman. I was worried it would be another Shimosa situation, so I'm glad it doesn't seem to be the case. Especially since we don't have as many people here to support you right now. Why? I know you must be exhausted right now, Senpai, but please try to wake up. <clears throat> it's December 2019 right now, remember? There's only a few days left until the new administration will be taking over Chaldea. We start dismissing all the servants of spirits, all Chaldea's heroic spirits in preparation for the new director's arrival. But we still have a lot of work to do explaining the situation to them. Have to talk to those two tomorrow, then. That's right. All the her experts trust you implicitly, after all. I think it'll be joyful farewells. I'll be sad to say goodbye to everyone, too, but it's our job to see all the her experts off with. Now, if it doesn't matter, my humblest apologies. Would you mind stepping aside? About 37 degrees to the right, to be precise. We must now it's for the sake of my poor back. Hmm. Watch your back and your ripe old ears, Moriarty. On my safe, I'll say by a razor's edge. My lower back, to be precise. Excellent reflexes, old chum. As they say these days, you've got you've really upped your game. At this rate, you may never need me to rescue again in midair. While it both hardens and saddens me to see you grow so quickly, it also makes it so painfully clear just how old I've become in both spirit and body. Fortunately, I've grown wiser as well as older, so I still have plenty of life lessons to impart. So I'll keep working my poor old back to the bone until I've taught you every last one of them. Oh, Dryden, it figures my back would start acting up right after I say that. I dare say growing old is the worst. But for the moment, my work here is done. Farewell! There he goes again, still holding his back. I guess it just goes to show we can't let our guard down until we've said goodbye to every last servant. Yeah, he's definitely up to something. <laughs> is that Munier? Soul Mash, did you happen to see Moriari around here? Yes, actually, he just ran off that way. Why did something happen? He messed with the simulator so he could hide out in the virtual space and avoid being dismissed. Luckily, Holmes and Da Vinci figured it out and stopped him right at the end, but that slippery old man's still out there. Yeah, but I don't even want to think about what that new director might have said if they'd see the simulator acting up like that. He really doesn't want to leave, huh? 
Lucky me, the new director is almost certainly going to be the first class mage. There's no way they won't see it in through any tricks like that. What about the simulator? Is it repaired now? Yeah, it should be now good to go. We've got a few experience in there testing it out now. It worked out well enough since they said they wanted to get last one last workout in before they leave. Better go say goodbye to them. Good point, Senpai. Let's go pay them a visit. Team is two and three. You focus on restoring the simulators of stability. Team one, you make sure the math checks out. Team four, make sure you're ready to reject them by force when I give the word. Just make sure you don't eject them too quickly. You want to make sure they've expended a good amount of magical energy first. No one gets stolen here, too, in case we need him. There's a good chance he's the only one who will be able to contain this situation. Oh, good, you're already here. Great timing. Who knew my genius could even account for good fortune and happenstance? What's going on? The simulator instruments are all going crazy. What in the world is happening here? I could tell you, but it'd be faster if you just take a look at what's going on in there for yourselves. Okay, I can see the video feed. Is that Enkidu and Mordred? Ah, we're just being thrust right into the battle now. I am playing with more. Oh, God. Hmm. 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 This is going to be difficult. Uh, BAQ? Maybe I only need to survive? Because that didn't do a lot of damage. Critting definitely helps. <laughs> this is what I need, Buster Blast. Please work. Because otherwise, Mo is probably done. That's unfortunate. It was the lack of crits, really. Definitely the lack of crits. Gotta be much be the same. Different pattern already. Okay. I think I'm done. Again. He's gonna hit me too many times. And he hit me too few times, so I couldn't get NP charge. Hmm. Okay, 
I gotta try a different attack pattern. Maybe Buster Arts Buster? Yeah, we'll give that a shot. Prioritize damage and MP gain. It's a shame that only lasts one turn. I might actually get it this time. Buster Blast. Good. We got this. As long as it doesn't go beyond one break bar, at least. Which would be kind of dumb if it did. Okay, there it is. Good, good, good. Whew. Slightly worrisome. Definitely a tougher fight, too. was both RNG as well as um, skill dependent. Part two, wait, was this 20? Ooh, this is 20. I might, I should hopefully just be able to finish this. Um, we'll go with Fran here, but as far as the actual party setup, Let's bring in the guy that we just got a little bit of use in, Zhang Yu. And we'll bring Scotty, who will have her CE, if I can find it, in the myriad of chocolates. There it is. And that should be fine. Yep, let's go. They're really going at it. Somebody get the round table and the Urk Kings in here? I wouldn't if I were you. This would almost certainly complicate matters by a factor of five, at least. Worst case scenario, all of Chaldea could end up raising the ground before the new administrator has even a chance to take over. If something happened between these them, this is well and beyond routine simulator battle training. Exactly, that's why we can't just shut it down. If they came back here now, they'd just keep on fighting inside Chaldea itself. So it seem. To be perfectly honest, I've never seen Mordred like this before. Yeah, not even during the Camelot Singularity. Sure, usually Mordred's humanity tends to keep all those fierce anger and hostility in check. But right now, there's no gift or curse to blame on. Mordred's just so enraged that any other consideration has fallen by the wayside. Judging from how serious the fight is, I'd bet Mordred doesn't even remember going to the simulator. So Enkidu did something to make Mordred this upset. What could it possibly have been? Whatever that is, we can figure out later. Let's stop him now. No, I think it might be better if you knew what causes before you get involved, Soul. Here, take a look at this footage from before the simulator. Oh, just make sure Mordred doesn't find out about this footage was recorded. Okay. We can't stop them from finding out what just happened. To overhear their conversation when we eventually go in to mediate this conflict, 
But you need to be very careful you don't bring up any related details. That's how sensitive this subject is. Th that much. After all, if you don't know what sparked Mordor's ire so badly, you could end up inadvertently touching on it again and making it worse. Of course, some people would only end up blurting out the kind of knowledge, so you should be honored that I trust you enough to share it with you. Pulling up the footage now. Okay, here's the relevant part. No way. What was said? What was said? I'm legitimately curious. All right, I was just planning on taking a break anyway, so I don't mind hearing you out. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. I was just hoping you could tell me about your salvation. Say what? You see, I heard a woman by the name of Morgan created you for the sole purpose of destroying King Arthur. Eventually, you succeeded at destroying King Arthur and ending his reign just as Morgan designated you, designed you to. I'm familiar with King Arthur's government and have analyzed his accomplishments it achieved in its prime. So I can tell that destroying King Arthur and ending his reign must have been an incredibly difficult, nearly impossible challenge. Which is why I thought you would be the perfect person to ask. Given that your sole purpose for existence was the destruction of King Arthur, did you feel any sense of fulfillment or like when you succeeded in doing what you had been created for? Of course, King Arthur was also your father. Was there any change in the, your thoughts or feelings at the moment you devastated his kingdom? If you had survived after fulfilling your mother's wish, what I mean is, now that you're effectively alive again as a servant, what drives you to go on living now that your purpose for being is long since fulfilled? I want to know. Damn, Enkido, show a little tack there, dude! He has no sense of tact. I did hear from people with connections to Uruk that Enkidu could sometimes say things that cause even the King of Heroes to cringe, but I don't. I didn't know this is what they meant until today. Still, that bluntness is arguably something you have both have, you both have in common. Depending on the situation, it can be both a weakness and a strength. Though in this case, it's clearly the former. Is this really the time for cool-headed analysis? We need to hurry up and stop them before it's too late. Exactly. Just having the MX at the same layer now won't do anything to address the root cause of this conflict. And like I said before, there's a good chance they just keep on fighting inside Caldea proper anyway. So we need to find a way to get them to stand down while they're still in the death simulator. I'll go in and stop them now. Are you sure you want to do that? You could just talk to them over the intercom here. But then again, in your case, talking to them face to face probably has a much better odds. Alright then, we're counting on you yet again. When all's said and done, I only hope you'll be able to look back at your time on Caldea fondly. Oh, be careful. Simulator or not, we only just finished shooting it up, so don't forget to pay attention to your mind's stability. Uh, uh. Bran, I didn't know you were here, too. Uh. Let's stop them together. What's decently impressive is the fact that Mordred is actually fighting Enkidu somewhat evenly, apparently. There they are. But given how fiercely they're fighting, I'm not sure they'll even hear you if you call to them. Um, shout at them from far away to get their attention. That's probably the safer option. Good point. If you want her too close, again, their crossfire could have severe detrimental effects on your mind, similarly or not. So, given how tense things are between them right now, I'm not sure words alone will be enough if we want to get their attention. We need to make a sound so loud they'll think they're being attacked. <laughs> Can I ask you to use your noble phantasm then? <sighs> Blasted tree. Grant, I thought I told you to get out of. Master. What brings you here, Master? You should know it's not safe. First things first, please put your weapons away. Stay out of this, Master. Got shit to do with you. Um. I'm sure it wasn't meant to offend you. Alright, alright, sides. I can tell you'll hit me with your noble phantasm next if I don't stop. Okay, explain, please. I don't think getting him to apologize would do good, because he's very blunt, so... It seems I should. I'm still not entirely sure why, but I understand now that my question touched a very sore spot. I hope you can believe me when I say it was never my intention to hurt you, and I'm truly sorry for the misunderstanding. Mordred. 
all right, fine, whatever. Enough of that damn pity look, Master. I'm feeling better now that I got that out of my system. Besides, I know this uncooked bean sprout here is still technically your servant. Yeah, they pissed me off to where I was seeing red. But your guarantee they weren't trying to piss me off enough is enough for me, Master. I'll let it go. Then please rest assured I can promise you that the only person I would knowingly choose to insult, insult is Ishtar. Even if you were the most wicked being to ever walk the earth, I would still hold you in respect. Eh, you got a really goddamn irritating way of putting it, things, don't you? Sounds like K. Damn it. It really makes it hard to solve your being polite or just put it up a front. Such relief. Thank you for understanding. Although I still don't understand why you, f why you fought back, Enkidu. If you didn't mean to upset Mordred, couldn't you have just focused on defending and running away? Oh, that's simple. I fought back because I sense genuine anger and hostility. Fighting an opponent whose emotions are running hot in a way can be an excellent way to learn more about them. For example, what is it they're angry about, or why exactly do they want to kill me? Yeah, Enkidu is just a battle junkie. Battle junkie? Well, I don't think I would go that far. Though I do admit the thrill I experienced during our three-day, three-night battle with Gil is something I still remember fondly, even as a heroic spirit. Gil enjoyed it a great deal, too, as I recall. Maybe we should do that again in the simulator one of these days. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I think you might have trouble getting permission to use the simulator for so many two consecutive hours. At any rate, may I suggest we leave the simulator now? We still have to report to Vinci, after all. Remember that Par said she was making berry smoothies in the cafeteria, so maybe we continue the conversation while having one of those. Where's the next comeback coming from, then, I wonder? Welcome back, guys. Great work there. I was following alongside, outside, so I caught them all caught up. Go ahead, the cafeteria. They should be ready for you by now. Who's they? Understood. Come on, senpai. Let's all go to the cafeteria, then. What a motley crew. Huh? Hmm? What in the world are demonic beasts doing in Caldea? These look like the ones from Sumer. No, they're not quite the same. I don't know what they are doing, but this works out real nice. I still got some steam I wanted to blow off, and you assholes just look just the tick. Hey, that was mine. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm set to protect Master as my highest priority, so that's what I did. Still, seeing as there's plenty left, don't for you, don't you think it's a little premature to get angry? Guess you really are Master's servant. Alright, I guess I can fight side by side with you for now, Lancer. Just make sure you stay out of my way. Well, considering none of you are going to be in the fight, you know. That's not too hard to do. I should have brought Inky along, damn it. Completely forgot that this is his interlude, considering I fought him. Completely had forgotten. Audio lag. Lovely. Stuff. Nothing can be done about it, though, so. Hey, Mordred. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Happy things, happy things. I do not believe I have any of those. So I can unfortunately not comply to your request. Ugh. Shang Yu is getting beat up really badly here. I guess it would depend on your definition. In which case, you know... They're all at least... All my servants are at least Bond 5 with me, so... They'd be very hard to convince not to... Uh, or they'd be very hard to convince to just up and leave. So, you know... Come on, three more charge. Come on, you can do it, Zhang Yu. Oh, there we go. Barely had enough charge there. Just barely did it. Got lucky. Zhang Yu smash. <sighs> But how be things, Mordred? How be things? Have a good day. Good few days. Insert arbitrary amount of days here. Uh, excuse me.
Break them all out. You'll be able to handle this team matchup right now. I've got an AoE five star berserker that will destroy you easily. You Uri Demus and Ugalus, which I'm pretty sure I've mispronounced. All right, easy win. This will be an easy win. Got to love the fact that I did a strengthening earlier. Easy peasy. last one and this is that might actually be the last thing I can do if there's no other short interludes here so Enkidu might be the final one we do here oh gosh a ruler <clears throat> well in that case we bring in the one and only Jalter who is now a 2k 2k unit She's higher up than that. And just very clearly blinder than a bat. Oh, Jolter. Oh, Jolter. There you are, Jolter. So you have Jack, Jean d'Arc, Santa, Alter, Lily, Ilya, Bunyan. Okay, so... Jack is Dotteru. Uh, Santa, Lily is also Dotteru. Ilya, I'm not too attached to. Bunyan, you know, I'm not really sure. Bunyan, I'm fairly neutral on, actually, thinking about it. I'm fairly neutral when it comes to Bunyan. She's just not been in enough stuff to make me consider her in the daughter category, you know? Kuro, I cannot let go of because she demolished the Camelot singularity for me. So you know, I gotta, I gotta hold on to Kuro because she demolished Camelot. Okay, Sclepius is almost done, and that'll be every single servant in my Caldea at Bond Five. Well, I don't know what's considered that. Like, would Sitanai be considered one, or no? What are those things doing here? Uh, what about everyone in the command room? Are they alright? What in the world is... Hey, welcome back. I was following along from the outside, so I'm all caught up. Go on ahead to the cafeteria. Everyone will be waiting. Da Vinci. Uh-oh. Uh, but What's... I don't understand binary. Binary. Binary! I need to translate this because I am legitimately curious. Come on. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, binary translator. Okay. So, zero, one. Zero, zero, one. Go away, advertisement. Oh, no, not text to... Not... Stop... Stupid ads, go away! Binary to text. Oh my goodness, these ads. Zero, one. Zero, zero. One. Oh, I just got a notification... Uh, thank you forever zero for the follow here. It is greatly appreciated. Trying to translate this binary string here. 
Uh, so that is then four zeros. Okay, so space. Oh, come on. So that was three zeros before the space, so then it was zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one. So 101, 101, so space, zero, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, is she just, okay, she's repeating the, hey. no, it's more than just hey. Okay. So after the four ones, the double O and a one, so then it is a space. Zero zero one zero one one zero zero. It's a comma. I didn't know you could do commas in binary. One two three four one two zero one one zero one one two three. Okay, I think that last string of binary might be nonsensical, but. I might have mistyped something. So, 11, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, yeah, so that last string of binary is nonsensical, it looks like? Yeah, last string of binary is nonsensical. Or is it... Is the first string backwards? It's the first... It's the first letter backwards, isn't it? Or the, the whole first string backwards? Zero, one... No, it's not. I don't know. Maybe it's backwards? Try that. Zero, one, zero, one. One, two, three, four. Okay, I got a P from that. One zero one one zero two three four. Okay, so reversing that gets me P and then a strange symbol that I don't really recognize. It's like a little circle. Interesting. Go on ahead to the cafeteria. Everyone will be waiting. And it's more. I'm not doing it again! I'm not doing a whole binary translation! Uh, no, I'm doing the last bit of interludes for today with Enkidu. I've done Zhang Yu, two Tamamo, and currently doing Enkidus. And I'm not translating all of this binary, because that's a pain. <laughs> I was following along. It's probably going to be the same thing, I imagine. What is this? They should all be to the cafeteria to be the 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 How's going on? There's no one else here anymore. Hmm? Let's go to the cafeteria. Hmm? If my sensors are working properly, that's where everyone should all be. Hmm. Okay, so design, mentality, and if the creator wants it. Okay, so this is... The cafeteria's undergone some remodeling, I see. Interest, a, a very, very outdoorsy motif for the cafeteria. I don't see chairs or tables, though, so it's getting some points docked for the um, remodeling. Seriously, what the hell's going on here? Where's the forester in the middle of the goddamn cafeteria? What is it, friend? Hmm? Oh, and now there's no door! <laughs> Guess this means we're trapped in here then. Though I still don't know what the hell you get trapped how the hell you get trapped in a forest. That is a good question. How do we how does one get trapped inside of a forest? Anyway, these are some seriously huge trees. What's their deal? These are Lebanese cedars. Really? I understand why you'd be confused, Master. They are true cedars in the pine family. 
They can grow up to 50 meters tall and were often used to build boats. However, I don't believe any forest this large still exists in your time. So this is a Lebanese cedar forest, then does this mean? Yes, it does. And this is the same forest of the gods that Gil and I put an end to. I don't know who brought us here, or for what purpose. But if this is indeed the cedar forest from the Epic of Gilgamesh, then there's a strong chance they were targeting me. I'm just sorry the rest of you happen to get caught up in it, too. Yeah, that kind of stuff happens all the time. Yep, Helena is indeed a grandma, but... I'm very curious as to how you know the three factors there, Mordrit. Very, very curious indeed. Alright, so what the hell do you mean when you said everyone should all be here? Because I sure as shit doubt you meant the Chaldea people. Good question. Well, I admit I'm reluctant to get into this since it has to do with the very essence of my systems, or rather, the fundamental areas that hinder them. No way. Melt is definitely not one. Like, the reason people say that is... From what I understand, the main reason people say that with regards to Melt is because her height is mainly listed as it is because of her legs, and she has a height when she doesn't have her prosthetic legs on. But the thing is, Melt is essentially a slime girl. She can be whatever the hell she wants to be. So, you know. Melt is actually a monster girl, and she can be whatever she wants. She just chooses the form she does because she thinks... It is the pinnacle of beauty as far as ballet goes. Yes, Melt is very soon. Melt is one of the top... Melt is the number two waifu, so... Yeah, it wouldn't be fair to you or to Master to keep you in the dark after I pried so deeply into your story. Heck, in fact, going off your cri the criteria you did... Uh, let me scroll up chat here real quick... So, it was design, mentality, and the creator wanting. So, very technically, King Protea would be based off of mentality and her true design. Very, very technically, King Protea falls into that category. Which is just hilarious. What are you talking about? I don't have regrets, not exactly. The only remorse I felt when I died was my feelings towards him. You've never been shy about these sorts of things, have you? I share them if I need to and hide them if I must. That's all there is to it. Still, there may be some things I only feel comfortable telling you because you're my master. Actually, are you guys really friends? I don't think Goldie really did fat friends. He may not, but Gilgamesh and I are indeed friends nonetheless. I can say that without any reservation that there's no one else like him. While we do sometimes talk for a long time, it's very rare for us to do so proactively on a daily basis. Besides, we don't need words to truly understand one another. Uh, sorry, sorry, not sure if King Gritea, I think that she is a giant counts more. Well, see, that's just the outward projection. I, Because it's in the Foxtail manga, I want to say that... You get introduced to the true King Protea, which is just like a very small, very small. Uh, Cleveland will always love Gil. Yep, just like Mordred will always love Fran, because I totally shipped those two. Hmm? Come on, Master, it's not that hard to understand her, right? Like right now, she's just saying you really don't understand me? Actually, hold up. You didn't say anything weird, Fran, like you did to me, did you? I don't think so. I can understand she's also an artificial life form, but to me, she's no different from any other being. Of course, if Dr. Frankenstein had embedded a curse-like system in her, then she might have piqued my curiosity. Hmm? Hmm. So that's how it is. Man, you really are a complete pain in the ass, aren't you? I'm sorry. I'm aware I can be difficult for others to accept. Besides... <laughs> Master, Mash, I think it would be in our best interest if you step back. It seems she, or rather, they... I've noticed I'm here. Kidu, what are you talking about? Uh, this three factors mostly from myself, since that's the best way to generalize it and seems right most of the time. Gotcha. That's fair. That is fair. They do seem like three fairly defining characteristics. They are very they are my very first friends. In fact, you could even say they raised me. They've raised you. 
Something's coming our way, Master. Watch yourself. Ooh. The hell are these things? More Babylonian demonic beasts? No. She, I mean they, are human. Oh, really? There are characters like Amelia from ReZero. She's basically a... She's mentally a lolly, but not, and her creator didn't intend her to be one. So, yeah, I mean, mentality-wise, yeah, I can I can see what you're coming, why mentality would be a factor there. I can see where you're coming with that. Uh, it's been so long since I last saw them, so very, very long. Wait, what? Hmm. The hell was that? Are they trying to talk or something? I don't understand them, but it looks like each demonic beast is saying a different part of each word. I see. So this version of you is from a time after we parted ways. I was hoping that wouldn't be the case, since you haven't fused into a single entity, but it seems that was too much to hope for. Still, even so, I have to ask. Do you no longer live in these woods? Is there truly not so much as a tiny fragment left? Tell me, Huawa. Huawa. Isn't that the, um, giant boar? Is that... No. Is that the boar? Who was the guardian of the forest of the gods, at least until Gil and I killed her. I heard she was a dreadful monster from the gods that order to protect the Lebanese cedar forest. I can only imagine how powerful she must have been for King Gilgamesh to fear her. Wait, really? That pompous gold guy was afraid of these things? They don't look that tough to me. Hmm. Yeah. What is it, Fran? What do you mean they still haven't been put together? I see, so you can tell too. Yes, that's true. Those girls there are a lot like you before you were born. The only difference is their body was made from souls while yours was made from other bodies. And they were given life not through science and engineering, but the God's authority and blessing. No, not with blessing. Kuala was a complete human born with a, together with a curse. What do you mean a complete human? I wish I could tell you more, but it seems the circumstances won't allow that. Who are you? Who? This is fun. Who are you? It's you. Sad. Protect. Woods. Help me. Hate. You kill the forest. Help. Enemy. Kill. Pain. Hurt. Happy. Me. Gods. Kill. Kill them. Help me. No. Forest. Protect. Help me. Help me. Help me. Wrong. Help me. Die. Enemy. Wrong. Kill. Humans. Gods. Kill. I am. Kill. Forest. Good. Protect. Forest who I, 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 who a dream you run, no, die, die, kill. Ah, oh, huh, it hurts, and why, no, ah, uh, ki, ow, ow, it hurts, it hurts. Hate, 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 kill, 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 die, 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 don't. <clears throat> Alright, I don't know what the hell's going on, but it looks like these things are done talking. It's okay to hit them, right? Now I see. I don't know who's doing this or why, but it seems they want me to reenact the situation. And I will. I won't hesitate to do so, now that I'm a servant. I'm Enkidu, a lancer, and I've been rebooted to serve as humanity's guardian. No matter where we are or what the situation may be, I cannot allow my master to come to harm. I must fulfill the role that has been given to me for Kingu, with whom I integrated as much as for myself. Aw oh, man. Too many times I said die. Lambast me. I don't deserve forgiveness for saying die too, too many times. I'm truly sorry about this, but I won't ask for your forgiveness. Even if this is only a fleeting dream or an illusion or a bug in this, my system, I will still not hesitate to remove you from these woods. Besides, I've already experienced this regret before, so it should not be so difficult to, ma to manage again. And so I never did try to save you, it's only fitting that I experience it again. Into combat, I completely forget what kind of enemies we're facing here. Like, I've completely forgotten who the enemy, what the enemy classes are. What am I up against? Persons! Oh look, a persona is the first unit. Uh, wow, okay, this is actually... Huh. This will actually be a fairly difficult fight. There's nine in this wave. Okay. I need to actually take this with a modicum of seriousness. Wow, that that was such good placement of the damage numbers there. Really got to see what I dealt damage-wise. Really got to see.
And there's three waves to this whole battle, too. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. Friend codes are always welcome. I'll be sure to add it after um, this encounter is done. I haven't updated to the summer setup for my event setup yet, so I'm probably going to do that after stream, to be honest. I've just been getting distracted. Hmm. I need to take out Persona D, because he has skill and NP seal. That's a dangerous combo. Got your friend code copied, so I'll be sure to enter that in after. Um, hmm. Start with... I need to take out... I need to use NP. Yeah, I need to use the NP. You don't have a person in your extra slot? That's weird. I mean, you know, if if you don't have an extra class... Okay, don't kill Jolter. Like, seriously, do not kill Jolter. She's my DPS in this damn fight. Uh, I need to proct illusion. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's uncommon, but a lot of people just don't have people... A servant in their extra class slot. I just don't understand. You know? It's weird. People say that they have a servant there, but I just... I oftentimes just don't see any servant there. So, I don't know. Maybe they're all crazy and I'm the only sane one in the world. Ooh, Merlin. Uh... See... There, there it is. Somebody saying that they have, and then just a blank space there. That's weird. That's really weird. <sighs> it's almost like people are trying to keep a secret from me or something when they say they have something, and then there's nothing there. I don't know. I just don't know. Come on, take out person H. There we go. F is all that's left. Oh, of course it's gonna give itself attack boosts just before. Hmm, I have to NP. Yeah, I have to NP here. I don't have enough oomph to push through, and he's gonna use a special skill that will probably wipe one of my servants. How did you, um, Mordric, curiosity question, how do you know what it was nine months ago? Persons, again, hmm. Take out the higher health one. Oh, gotcha. What was just inflicted? Defense. Hmm, that's annoying. <laughs> Immune to defensive buffs. That is stupidly annoying, man. Okay, but a brave chain from Jalter should be a... Maybe... Okay, thank god. Thank god extra attacks are powerful. Maybe I should upgrade um, some of the extra attack FN skills. You've got to be kidding me. This is... Oh my goodness, this is going to be a pain. 
Like, holy cow! A break bar and a, one of these giant snake things. It's more the giant snake thing that I'm concerned about. Give me an attack boost. Crit buff. And then... Doo -doo. Hmm. Hmm. Do it like this. That giant snake is too much of a pain. It gives me nightmares from the Indian Lost Belt, so I know it's going to be a pain to take if I don't take it down quick, so it's going down first. There we go. Oh! Weird. You mean uh, Da Vinci's VA and Romani's VA? Yeah, that is pretty nice. They're married IRL. Uh, so that's weird that it just ended right there. Um, I'll take it. Weird, but I'll take it. Also, we have our final servant... To bond five. Woot, 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 woot. Is it over? And actually, hang on. What was that kid doing here? Oh, some pilot over there. They're merging. They're gather the corpses are gathering around the child. That's never a foreshadowing thing in horror movies. Not over. What the hell? This magical energy is insane. Just how much more is this thing going to grow? Master, take the others and get as far away as you can. That thing being born there cannot be allowed to exist. I'm going to end it. Ah. I'm sorry. I still don't know what to do. I don't yet know how I can save you or how I can make those flowers bloom again. So until I figure it out, I'm going to bind you to this land as the god of my sinful past. Humans, let us bind the gods. Enuma. Elish. Awesome, I look, what is that? A giant arm coming out of the ground to stop Enkidu's noble phantasm. That's terrifying. As the dust clears... Flashback. I never had any regrets when I was alive. I believe I'd always done the best I could in any given situation. Even when I was tearing out their guts, I couldn't ensure they were dead. Even when I was twisting off their heads, they continued to damn and curse me. It wasn't until King Gilgamesh stopped me that I realized there was something wrong with my systems. I wonder what sort of expression I wore on my face while I continued to rip out my former kin's entrails. Good gracious, going dark there. <laughs> I was sure the only regrets I have had to do with Gilgamesh, but it seems one of my systems was updated after I became a heroic spirit. Now I hear the rancorous voices of thousands of people that once rang out from the Guardian's entrails. If only those voices were directed at those who had hurt their owners. Both Gilgamesh and I were prepared to be hated for what we had done. Sir BB does have a pretty good NP. I will admit that. However, those poor children with that monster couldn't see anyone or anything. They become mere puppets of the gods. And made of chunks of meat that couldn't even understand why they'd suffered or what the object of their hatred should be. Yes, this must be the system humans call karma. I robbed those girls of their future. I tried to save them even though I didn't know how. In the end, all I did was cause them to suffer for a very, very long time. If the situation in which I found myself now is the price I must pay for that sin, then I must be ready to accept it. Obviously, I'm biased, but I love Mash's NP. It's just so somatic and glorious and makes me tear up thinking of how it was used in the Temple of Time. Except now, I have a new regret. What about my master? Is he okay?
If he is, then I know I'll, they, I know he will be fine without me. Once he returns to Caldea, he can ask for help from the most reliable of all heroic spirits. Working alongside Master, surely they could design a program to free the Huawas. Now, don't go bringing trouble while praising me to high heaven, you great fool. I don't accept compliments from anyone. I'll be damned if I just suffer through my friend putting me on a pedestal without so much as a stiff drink. Between you and Kingo, I could I could swear your successors are deliberately trying to work me into an early grave. Did the stream just freeze? Out of curiosity. Oh yep, yeah, the stream the stream just crashed. Or no, did I lose internet? No, I didn't lose internet. The stream just sort of crashed. Weird. Um Is Twitch did Twitch go down? I think Twitch might have did Twitch just crashed? Did Twitch or my internet just go down? I still have network access. What is this notification? Uh, keep trying. Stream is disconnected, attempting to reconnect. My whole, I think my whole network might have crashed. Um. It says I have internet access. It's reconnecting, or trying to at least. No, I don't. Okay, something's going on here. Um, why am I not? Okay, no. Okay, nope. Yep, my laptop is completely lost internet access. I think my internet just completely died on me. Okay, exit reflector, because I need to check, make sure it's just my iPod and not Twitch itself that went down. Okay, disconnect from Wi-Fi. Okay, no, I think, yeah, I don't have internet anymore. Yeah, my full network just crashed. Oh, shit. Did the internet just go completely down? Wait, did you reset it? Alright. Yeah, because I've completely lost internet in the middle of a stream. Okay. Oh. Thanks for... No, it's trying to reconnect still, so I don't know. I'll take a look at things in a little bit. Bye.
trying to see if Okay, I think I might be coming back. Are we coming back, interwebs? It says it's trying to reconnect. I would appreciate if you succeeded. Come on. Okay. So my internet is completely down right now. Um, 